We are making fluffy coffee. It's great, Mom. Actually, Eli is going to make fluffy coffee. Talk us through it, Eli. Okay, so you're gonna start off with a tablespoon of instant coffee per serving. So if you're gonna make it for two people, you put two. And if you want to, I mean, I'm gonna do extra because like only like a half extra, but then you have to add a half of everything else. It's all equal proportions. So you got your coffee in there and then you put a tablespoon of sugar per serving in there. Then we're not done with our water yet. It's probably hot enough. It probably is. It has to be hot water though, correct? Yes. Uh, I've never tried it with cold water. I think it has to be hot to dissolve the coffee. Yeah. You just so, have to do two tablespoons or don't you have to do a little uh, bit more? Oh, you spilled some. Yeah. All that stuff. And the videos will say that you can use a hand whisk. You cannot, you have to have a hand mixer. It will never turn out unless you have a hand mixer. We tried by hand first time and not it did not. It did not go well. So he's going to whip the coffee, which makes it fluffy. And then we doctor up the glasses. So one. So I can't hold the glass and show you what I'm doing, but I just lined each glass with chocolate and caramel sauce and it just kind of drips into the bottom, but it kind of makes the cup look cool. So usually it sticks a little better, but I had just washed these so they are a little wet. Eli is still using the hand mixer to whip the fluffy sauce. Okay, I'm all done and sometimes it'll be stiff peaks, but I kind of look for the color at this point. You can tell on the side where there's dark, darker and then what's mixed is lighter. And then you're going to get a big spoon. I used a bunch of them for dinner yesterday. You know, that's not the biggest spoon I was like, but um, put a little bit of ice in the bottom. We're particular about the ice, so we get it from the store. Because our ice is terrible? Mm -hmm. We need a lot, but... Just a little. Keep it nice and cold. Yeah. And then you put about a scoop, as big as you can get it without dripping, in there. Just with the ice. And we figured this out on our own because otherwise it, they show you to pour it all on the top, but it's too much on the top. It doesn't drain down fast enough. And then, and if it gets on your hands, do not lick it because it's, it's good in the coffee. But it, it's <laughs> not good plain. No. So we usually use all these mocha coffee. And if you've had it at our house, that's usually what we've tried. But on a whim, I picked up some Starbucks iced coffee. And it's pretty much a game changer. We usually use the caramel mar macchiato one. They are out. So today is vanilla. But if you like a strong coffee flavor, do Starbucks. If you like a chocolate milk flavor, do the Aldi mocha coffee, which is just, it's super good. We just happen to really like the coffee flavor, in which case the Starbucks is better. Either one is good though. No, you're just gonna top off the cups with the rest of it. strong. 
Is that it? Mm-hmm. And then we put straws in them so you can kind of stir it around. And that is how you make fluffy coffee. But when you get to the bottom of the cup, you don't want to drink just a fluffy coffee by itself. Because that's a bad idea too because at the bottom there will be some fluffy coffee left and it'll be the same thing as licking it off your hand it'd be pretty bitter so you want to try to mix as much as you can inside of it mm -hmm. just like that anything else mm -mm. that's how we make our fluffy coffee